Now more Good Day Dakota on KX News. 636, welcome back. Rain, snow, and wind are all in the forecast from the larger system churning over us as we speak. It's called the Colorado Low. But why do we call it that, and does it matter? Yeah, new this morning, meteorologist Amber Wheeler explains the notorious Colorado low in this week's WeatherWise. Amber? Well, Alicia and Josh, you know, this is probably one of the more dynamic systems that we forecast here in North Dakota. And this type of system, well, it originates from the Pacific. It almost dissipates as it moves over the roughy terrain of the Rockies. And it gets its name from the area that it re-intensifies at. Uh, you can see here that it's called the Colorado Low, but it can form in the general vicinity here. It's not always Colorado that that low intensifies at. It intensifies by heading into a different terrain. Rain and meeting the Gulf moisture. This allows the storm to intensify over the more flatter plains with that more unstable air. It then tracks with the upper atmospheric steering motions, but it typically moves to the north and to the east, like it has for us uh, these last couple of days, or I should say last couple of hours with the system. There's a natural counterclockwise spin around that low pressure, and on the northern side, we're pulling in cooler air, and depending on the time of the year, this precipitation could be all rain, it could be all snow, or a mixture like we're seeing today. And as it feeds in more moisture from the Gulf, this is what makes these a high precipitation event. We're just pulling in more moisture here. Now, on the southern side, the clashing of the warm, moist air with the cooler, drier air from the north, well, that's a recipe for severe weather along that trailing cold front, which is what we're seeing even now. This was the uh, Storm Prediction Center's outlook for yesterday. And it's coming into fruition. So, because life is not made up of perfect sectors like I'm showing you, perfect simplified graphics, this is the messy reality of the Colorado low. We are seeing severe weather this morning in Oklahoma from this trailing cold front here. And you can see that we've got a lot of moisture and the cold air being brought in, fed into the northern part of the system. Now, the motion around the system is why it's such a high precipitation event. Again, we're pulling in moisture from the south. And so you can see here it's pulling in cooler air from the north as well. And that's why we're seeing a bit of a rain snow mix in the west, if not all snow. Now, the center of this low happens to be along the Wyoming Nebraska border. It's moving uh, kind of at a pretty decent clip here. And it'll move into eastern South Dakota, east. Eastern North Dakota through tonight, and that track alone will keep us in the rainy and snowiest regions of this system. Now, calling it a Colorado low, it, it really doesn't matter necessarily, but it does give you a heads up on what to expect because these do become pretty notorious. Josh and Alicia, Colorado lows are responsible for the more notorious storms that we've seen here in North Dakota. Uh, of course, the snow can be dumped mm -hmm. and could be feet in some cases. Just ask folks in Wells County yeah. where they were on October 2019 and they may say in their houses because they got 30 inches of snow in uh, less than a couple of days from a Colorado low. Interesting. Wow. It's so interesting and then last year you look at last year and the, the, the just the small amount of snow that we got. I know, and, and uh, 2019 one Colorado low gave uh, half a year's worth of snow to <laughs> one county. Uh, to their oh, yeah. area. So they, they really are a game changer when it mm -hmm. comes to weather and they're a game changer for us right now. Lots of <laughs> rain here in the system. Yeah. Well, sure. my big sister Sarah lives in Colorado, mm -hmm. so I anthropomorphize it. And you know nothing's changed. We're adults now, and she's just throwing this we're bowling gonna, ball we're in your blame direction. Blame her, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Sarah. Yeah, thanks, Sarah. And thank you, Amber. That was very fascinating. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> There's still plenty of news and weather ahead on Good Day Dakota.